Hi everyone, Max here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up and use the stop loss tool by Mr. Low for the Binance Exchange. So, what this tool allows you to do is allocate 100% of your position in a stop loss at the same time as having 100% of your position in profit targets. Whereas currently on Binance, you can only do some of your position in a stop loss and then the other portion in a profit targets or some mix of both. You can't put 100% in stop loss and 100% profit targets. So let's get into it. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how to get the indicator and set it up. So to get the indicator, you wanna go over to twitch.tv slash crypto traders TV. I'll leave the link down below. And you wanna subscribe with a tier three sub and then link your subscription with Discord. And then that will give you access to the tier three and Bitcoin sub channel. And there you'll see Mr. Lowe's post with the download link attached. Download the zip. And then we're ready to start setup. Okay, so once you have it downloaded, right click on it, the stop loss tool, right click, extract all, C, colon, backslash, stop loss. You wanna click enter. So wait for that to be done. All right, so now we're gonna open the readme. So we know what we're doing. So step one, install PHP 7. So we wanna go over to windows.php.net forward slash download. So that's this page right here. I'll leave the link down below as well. And then you want to go and click the first one right here and download the zip. Simple as that. Okay, so then you should have a file like this, a zip file. I know what you're going to want to do with that is right click, extract all, C, colon, backslash, PHP. Enter. Okay, nice. And then for the next step, we're looking for php.ini-development to rename it to php.ini. So here it is right here. Rename. Get rid of the dash development. Enter. Yes. Now we want to open up the file and we're looking for the extension equals curl and extension equals open SSL. And we want to remove the semicolon from those. So control F, looking for curl. Get rid of the semicolon there. Open SSL. Get rid of the semicolon. Get rid of the semicolon there. And then we can close it, then forget to save. Next step, go to the control panel. Right there. Uh, search for system. system. Yep. And then you wanna to go to advanced system settings right here. And then towards the bottom, environment variables. And then looking in the lower box here, choose variable path and hit edit. So once you've done that, I already have it here, but we'll delete it and do it again. You wanna choose new. Let's move this over actually so you guys can see. So you wanna choose new. C colon backslash PHP and then OK. OK. Close this, close that. So you've done these first two steps. And now we can close this. So now we go into the con config file and you want to enter your API key and your API secret. So I'm going to go over to Binance.com. So to get the API keys, you go to Binance right here and choose API, hit enable. You want to go set this up. I'm going to go do this off screen quickly because you have to do a Google Authenticator and confirmation with your email. So I'm going to go do all that and then I'll enter my API keys in the config file. All right, I've now got my 
API key entered into the key section and secret key into the secret key section as you can see here so now you can close that so to enter in stop losses we'll be using this notepad page here and start up the actual program this batch file as you can see here we currently have a so this is just an example one that's put in by default so you can see here we have a stop loss for Bitcoin on the USDT at 1200 and every one of these dots is every time there's a new order going through so let's head over to Binance so we can set up and test it so here are on Binance now so let's let's get 100 XLM so as you can see we're now in XLM we now have Yep, now I have 100 XLM, so I'll put in some profit targets for that. Two nine fifty. Let's do two of those. One two. So we have two profit targets. We don't have a stop loss. So if I was to be entering in stop loss for XLM, here's how I would do it. So XLM semicolon BTC because it's the Bitcoin pair and then to get the um, correct number of decimal places and the level where we want to put the stop loss it's best to highlight all of this right click copy control C and control V don't seem to work on it so right click copy and then head over to here and there we have it so we want to change this to the actual level we want the stop losses but because i'm doing this a test let's let's leave it at to uh, you know 28 80 you know somewhere above the current price because we want to see if it triggers and we can also remove this one now because we don't need that it's just an example so file save and we should see that we don't actually have to reopen the program it should automatically update here we just have to wait a second Yep, stop loss file change, reloading. Should instantly trigger. Yep. Stop triggered, open seller, cancelling. So, so um, one other function that it does have is that if there are, when it, when it triggers the stop loss, it will then wait three seconds until there's another order and then it will actually do the selling and the reason for this is to protect against fat fingers so when the price flashes down because someone does a big order and quickly quickly recovers it and it's only like down for a second you don't get stopped out because the the tool will check for, wait three seconds before the next order which i think is actually a great feature so as you can see now we've been we closed out both of our open orders so both of our profit targets have been closed out first and then we sold our XLM so we currently have no XLM so it's working we will set up and ready to go so I'll I'll, uh, I'll find some setups and show you how I'd actually use this tool so let's get into that in a sec all right now that we've tested it and we know that it's working I'm going to show you how to use it essentially though we're going to be using this just like a stop loss so I'm sure most of you know how this is this is done already but let's go through it anyway so Looking at CND here, let's say I wanted to get long at 356 and wanted a stop loss at 324. So with this tool, you can put in orders to get filled and a stop loss on it before you get filled. So I'm going to quickly show you guys how that's done. So limit, we wanted to get long at yep 356. So we'll go 356 buy. We'll buy 1,000. Buying through 1,000. CND at 356. So we now we need to put in a stop loss. So we'll, we'll copy this, right click, copy, go to the text file, CND, BTC, paste, and the level we want the stop loss at is 323. But we can actually delete this XLM one because that was our test. So get rid of that. File, save. And so Reloading file changed. Da da da. Stop loss CND pair zero two three. Awesome. 
Now I'm going to show you guys. So let's mark it by a thousand as well. So mark it by a thousand. And then say we wanted our profit targets. Where should we put our profit targets? 400, 500. Uh, and then we'll put one up at 700. So simple stuff 400, sell 300. And then 500, we'll sell 300 too. And then sell the rest, 740. There we go. So we're in a position where we have our full position in profit targets. And then we have our full, you know, full position in a stop loss. So when price hits 323, we'll be stopped out. And we'll also be stopped off our 356 order. So that's it. That's how you use it. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below or send me a message. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.